Where should you go for dinner? Your favorite pizza place or your favorite burger spot? What about when you get home? Should you make brownies or should you make cookies? We make decisions like this all the time. And according to Kurt Lewin, when we have to choose between two attractive outcomes, this is called an approach-approach conflict. And as a result of this conflict, we may feel tension or stress when having to choose between the two options. However, as you know, not every decision we make is a choice between two attractive outcomes. For example, if your parents say you either need to clean the kitchen or clean the bathroom, both of which you hate, this is an example of an avoidance-avoidance conflict, which is a situation in which a person must choose between two undesirable outcomes. Another type of conflict that Lewin identified is an approach avoidance conflict. This is where an individual has a goal with both attractive and unattractive features. For example, let's say that somebody wants ice cream but they're lactose intolerant. The ice cream is the attractive feature while getting sick is the unattractive feature. Another example of an approach avoidance conflict is the people out there buying ridiculously expensive Taylor Swift tickets that cost a ton of money. However, they're still going to go to the concert and have a great time anyway. The last type of Lewin's conflicts that you should know is called a multiple approach avoidance conflict. This is where a person must make a choice between two options that have both desirable and undesirable features. For example, let's say that you have to choose which airline to fly on to get to your next destination. And as you can see, airline one is cheaper, but it has cramped seats, additional fees for extra bags and food service, and no in-flight TVs. On the other hand, airline two is more expensive. However, their seats have more leg room there aren't any additional costs in regards to extra bags or food service, and there is in-flight entertainment. And making decisions like this is tough. That's why it's important to remember that a person may experience tension or stress when making a choice in regards to any of these types of conflict. So have you experienced any of these? Let me know in the comments. I'll catch you later, All Stars.